if I put my elbow like this and my pedal starts from here, you see to hit the ball, it's at this angle. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard for me to actually play forward. And what I'm saying is for backhand loop, don't think about putting the pedal here or like here or here. Think about dropping and a little bit on the right side of the ball. And the rest is very simple, right? Road to pro. In general, what we are trying to think is this. We are trying to pivot on the elbow mm -hmm. and use the rotation. And when you rotate your whole arm like that, you're using the shoulder muscle, right? right? But the shoulder is a little bit limited to rotate like that. Therefore, you can add this rotation from your body by bending it down. And then when you go up, you see already you're adding this much body movement and it's adding to that. And just you're rotating your shoulder at the contact to give higher speed because it's all about speed at the contact. Right. Okay, so the fun foundation is the body movement and to accelerate at that point, you use shoulder to play. So what I wanted to say was, if we are pivoting on the elbow and then using the rotation to accelerate at a higher speed, think about where you would put the pedal. If the ball is coming here, if I put my elbow like this and my pedal starts from here, you see to hit the ball, it's at this angle. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard for me to actually play forward. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Which makes me to shift the elbow somehow to catch the ball. Right. Right? right. So uh, the better way to approach in the beginning is actually the opposite way. Because if this is the pivoting point, mm -hmm. my pedal actually needs to start on the right side of the ball. So therefore, when I rotate, I hit the ball. Uh, I see. So it's actually here. So it's okay. Uh. So even behind the ball may not work depending on how you swing. But if your backhand swing is relying more on the rotation, it's coming here. Mm -hmm. So there's no way for me to rotate and use this high speed and efficient and simple way to swing and catch the ball from here. It's rather here. Then what happens from here uh, and when you see uh, other players doing a good backhand loop, they don't actually put the pedal here because they shift the body this way and by the time they hit, it's coming to the center. So that's why it's, it's, you can, if you use your body, you can have a better backhand loop. Mm -hmm. Without using the backhand body, then your, your wrist needs to stay more right side because your body doesn't adjust for the ball and you're trying to use the rotation. But this is okay. Okay, this is okay. So easier way is actually when the ball is coming like this, the way you should prepare is like put the pedal on your right knee, but put the weight on your left. Oh, oh it's okay. Doesn't make sense. So it's like you're putting the pedal on your right knee, but you're just turning the body so it stays in the center. That kind of feeling. So when you when by the time you come here, you didn't shift the elbow but you are actually on the right spot to spin the ball. So uh, actually go to the other side. Let me show you. In here, here. So this is what, I, what I'm talking about. So if I prepare my pedal on the left side, it's very hard. See, I need to go more like that yeah. to meet the ball. Yeah. But if I actually prepare the ball up, oh, sorry. That's okay. here, you see, I'm a little bit centered. Right. Center, and all I need to do is body. Right? So, so therefore, the hand is actually to the right of the ball, so it allows this distance, right? Yeah, so it simplifies um, the movement, movement, and it makes it easier to pivot on the elbow. Yes. It simplifies. You, you don't need to, because for your stroke to work, Mm -hmm. Your starting position needs to be consistent. Yes. yes. Right? So you actually do need to know where to put the pedal for uh, each technique. And what I'm saying is for backhand loop, don't think about putting the pedal here or like here or here. Think about dropping and little bit on the right side of the ball. And the rest is 
Very simple, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, that's a good point. So it basically allows this rotation, right? So yeah. you can hit the ball yeah. here. Uh -huh. I think what maybe what I'm doing is more like Yeah, um, you actually I'm start doing... most people do this yeah. because um, maybe they don't know or but think about the uh, the mechanism of the body, right? Yes. If you're if you're trying to use the rotation and body to whip the ball and if our center is behind the ball, we cannot hit the ball. There's no ball. Yeah. But if you're if you're pivoting over here and then it's like a golf, right? You're standing over here yeah. and this is your club. And this is where you hit the ball. So it, it becomes easier for you to use the body. Uh -huh. And I think this is more a uh, current modern uh, backhand yeah. to keep it very simple mm -hmm. and also the contact point is right here and really interestingly if you can set up your backhand loop like this instead of like this if you set up your backhand loop like here mm -hmm. very easy to use forehand loop uh, too it's because these two contact points are very, very close, close. Mm -hmm. so if this is more modern so if you see uh, any uh, top Chinese uh, players you will actually see they wouldn't do too much of this mm -hmm. but they actually stand here and then use the body boom so they're always like balanced quick to play backhand and forehand mm. okay okay try a few more times so the starting position is very important yeah. uh. so like so here like think about putting it to your right knee knees okay just right knee yeah put it down elbow up Mm, ready now? Body. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Okay. okay, wait. That's too much risk. Body. Uh -huh. Body. Body. So now it's becoming again arm. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Put it more on the right side. Uh, put it more on the right, on the side. right side. Okay. Uh, it will really help you to use the rotation and the body movement to loop. Okay, let's try again. Uh -oh, let me, let's okay. okay. Again, putting on the pedal on the right knee and then put the weight in the center. Squat down. Squat down. Uh. And use the body. Simplify your stroke. When you simplify, that relates to the, to the two concepts that I always emphasize. Efficiency uh -huh. and consistency. Right? If, it, if your stroke is becoming more simplified and your, the quality of the ball is same, that makes it becoming more efficient and consistent. Body. Body. That's risk. Too much. Too much, too much arm. Body. Body. This one did a bit better. Uh -huh. mm. And uh, it, it really depends on uh, when you catch the ball, that your body may a little bit go back. And that's the only time, the only time that your, back, your body goes like that is when you're a little bit late. Uh, it's too it's just, it, it, it shouldn't be your regular stroke. Mm -hmm. mm. So the regular stroke is actually a little bit center and forward, a little bit forward because we are applying the force forward, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So try not to go backwards too much, but more of down and squeeze and then hook, uh, but stay, stay balanced. Drop it. So your pedal is not starting on the right side. Therefore, it's like the looping is starting from here and you're trying to use the wrist a lot. Uh, oh. the, space in the, the space for you to rotate, this helps you to accelerate. Because uh. I didn't drop my, my paddle. Yeah, if you don't drop, you don't, you're not using the rotation. Uh. Uh. 
ぱりなやっぱりなやっぱりなやっぱりな and wait that your body should control the tempo body 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 elbow stay up a little bit body yeah 